Welcome back. So we're inside our Wish Service Gateway now, and I just cheated a bit and put in some code that I just want to try and explain to you. Because here we're actually using a new type of client. Before that, here in the in the manager we used. Let me just show you. In the abstract manager we used um, the NT framework by doing this using person app context. We talked about that already. I just want to show you the idea is the same, but instead of actually using something to talk to a database, now we use an HTTP client. That's kind of a Postman thing that can send requests. So what are we doing? Well, we need to specify where do we want to go. Now this shouldn't be coded right here in the read. We'll we'll try and pull it out later. I just want to show you now how to use it. So we'll we'll put in the URL that we want to hit. We'll put in. We'll remove the default browsers and add one called JSON. Uh, sorry, headers and add the one default called JSON because we're sending JSON, right? Then we we're, we're making the first request right here. That's kind of the thing we did in Postman when I put in a get request and I said wishes and I pressed send. That's kind of what we're doing here. We're making a send from the C-sharp code now. And we're waiting now for the result. So when you see Postman twirling here, waiting for a result, that's kind of what we're doing here in the C-sharp code. We're waiting for a result. That result shows us if things went well. And if they did, we can read the content of that result. The result is going to be JSON, right? I talked about that earlier as well. But we want to convert that into a, a list of C sharp objects. That's what we're doing here. We're taking the JSON content, the JSON content, and convert it into C sharp objects. Right? We're doing that using something called Newton Soft. So this is a framework that is installed right here. Newton Soft JSON. That can actually go in and convert uh, any JSON into C sharp objects if they have the same look. So let's have a look at the, our. It has an ID, name, created, and persons. So we need to have objects here on our side as well, inside our entities, that has ID, name, created, person. So they have to look the same. But if that is the case, let's try and run this now. Everything should be working now with our new service gateway to actually read, at least, our beautiful JSON objects from the database. And notice another thing. This has to run, of course. So your web API has to run to do this, or else you'll get an exception that it cannot find the web API. And mine is running right here. So you have to have that running as well. Also, you have to have the URL you're pointing at. That has to, of course, also be the same port like your web API, right? So that's you have to follow those two rules. Now the application is starting up. I'm pressing wishes. Let's see what comes up. Hopefully a list of wishes. There we go. The difference is before we actually sent the data to from a database, now we're actually pulling it from a web API. Let's just have one single look here where we just put in a breakpoint and just call it all once more. Let's do a refresh of the wishes. And let's see, we hit that breakpoint. Just step over here talking about what we're doing. Again, creating the client for the right API, right? Here, we're making the request to the backend, like if I press send here on the JSON. Or I'm on my way here, moving over here to get a request, getting a response back. So the request has been sent. I'm getting a response. I'm grabbing that response. And if it's a success, then I'm converting the response from JSON into a list of c -sharp objects. I'm passing those objects back to the MVC solution that converts it into, uh, let's look at the drawing again, sending it back here as c -sharp objects, converting it into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and Bajumi. You showed in the browser. That's all you have to do. Next time, let's try and look at how you create something. See you next lesson.